I'm Mark Podolsky. I'm on a mission to help you solve what I call solo economic dependency, which means if you're not personally working, you're not making any money. If you have a W-2 job that you hate, or even if you love, if you're a freelancer, if you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, which means that if you're personally not putting in the effort, you're not making any money. Well, there's a way that I solve that. And today I want to talk about Land Investing 101 because I used to be a miserable, micromanaged, overstressed, overworked, 45 minute commute to work and back investment banker. And it took me 18 months to be able to replace my investment banking income with land investing. So today I wanna to walk you through the exact model I used to break free and have what I call the three W's so I can work when I want, where I want, and with whom I want. With that total freedom, I've helped thousands of people, clients of mine, retire their spouses, replace their income, quit their jobs. But let's just start with the very beginning of the model. I'm gonna assume that my buddy Eric over here lives in Phoenix, Arizona, where I live, but he owns 10 acres of raw land in Texas. Now, Eric hasn't gone out to look at the property in years. And in fact, when I go to the county treasurer, I see that Eric owes $200 in back taxes. So he's essentially advertising two really important things to me. Number one, he has no emotional attachment to that raw land. Emotions are alien to me. Eric lives in Arizona, the properties in Texas. And number two, he's distressed financially in some weird way. I declare bankruptcy! Because when we don't pay for things, we don't value them in the same way. And Eric hasn't paid his property taxes. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the comparable sales on Eric's 10 acre parcel of land in Texas. I'm going to take the lowest comparable sale and I'm going to divide by four. And that's going to get me what Warren Buffett would call a 300% margin of safety. And I'm going to send Eric an actual offer on his property contingent upon due diligence and other issues with that property. So I have a way out. So let's say that Eric's raw land, the lowest comparable sale out there is $10,000. Well, I'm gonna send him an actual offer for $2,500. And now Eric accepts it because every single month, the county treasurer has been sending him a notice saying, Eric, if you don't pay your property taxes, you're gonna lose that property to a tax deed or a tax lien investor. Where's my money? Do you have my money? Where is it? You know, if you had the money, I'm right here. Do you have the money? Money, 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 money. So Eric accepts it. Now, in reality, three to 5% of people accept my quote unquote top dollar offer. But now once Eric accepts it, I have to go through due diligence or in-depth research. I have to confirm Eric still owns the property. I have to confirm the back taxes are only $200. I have to confirm that there's been no breaks in the chain of title. I have to confirm there's no liens or encumbrances. I wanna know about the roads. Is there legal access or what we call ingress and egress? What's compelling about the property? How far from nearest services, the nearest Walmart? What restrictions are on the property? This whole property due diligence checklist, I outsourced to my team in the Philippines. They're connected to an American title company. It cost me about 11 bucks. Now, if I was paying more than let's say $5,000, I would close traditionally through an American title company. Now we're gonna assume everything checks out. And now I've bought Eric's property for $2,500. Now here's where it gets fun. I'm gonna sell this property 30 days or less, and I'm gonna make a cash flow just like a rental home. Now, the question is, who's gonna buy this property? Well, I have a built-in best buyer. It's the neighbors. So I'm gonna send out neighbor letters saying, hey, here's your opportunity, protect your privacy, protect your views, know your neighbor. So oftentimes, the neighbors will buy it. Now, if they pass, I'll go to my buyer's list. Wondering what a buyer's list is? As people express their interest in purchasing a property from me, we add them to our email list so that we can notify them when we have other properties for sale. Over time, and with more leads, this becomes a great place to market new properties you have. If my buyer's list passes, I'll go to Craigslist, the 10th most trafficked website in the United States. I'll go to Facebook, which is absolutely huge. It's, it'd be the largest country in the world. There's so many people on Facebook. I'd go to the marketplace, buy sell groups. And then I would go to Zillow.com and I'd go to the lands, landmoto.com, landsofamerica.com, 
landflip.com, landhub.com. These are platforms where people buy and sell raw land every single day. But the way that I'm gonna sell it is I'm gonna make it irresistible. So all I'm gonna ask for is a $2,500 down payment, which a lot of people can afford. And if I wanted, I could even go, let's say six to 10 months out to get what I call capital recovery because I invested $2,500. I could go six to 10 months out before I get that $2,500 back. But in this scenario, we'll make it simple. I'm gonna ask for a $2,500 down payment and then let's make it a car payment. Let's say $249 a month, 9% interest for the next 84 months. So essentially it's a one-time sale. I get recurring income. I get my money out on the down payment, but then I get recurring income every single month of $249 a month and 9% interest for the next 84 months. So to break down our profit on this deal, $2,500 plus $249 a month over 84 months is $23,416. Now subtract the initial $2,500 we paid for the property and our profit is $20,916. That is an 837% return on investment. Where else can you put your money to work like that? I don't have to deal with any renters no rehabs, no renovations, no rodents. And because I'm not dealing with the tenant, I'm exempt from Dodd-Frank, RESPA, and the SAFE Act, all this onerous real estate legislation. Let's take a look at some real deals completed by folks in our Land Geek community. Take Rachel. She purchased the property for $1,500. Then she sold it on terms for $299 down and $119 per month for 50 months. Her profit from this deal is $4,749 with her return on investment at 316%. Also, she will have recouped her initial investment in just 10 months. Or Bradley here, he bought land in Texas for $500. He sold it for $99 down and $99 a month for 36 months. His profit is $3,000. $163 and his return on investment is 632%. Let's take a look at one last example. Rolando sent me this message the other day. Right now, I'm on an island in Belize. Swam with sharks yesterday. I got a $500 down payment on a property and signed a terms deal. $200 per month for 36 months. I never spoke to the buyer. Can't beat it. I asked Orlando how much he paid for this property, and he said $1,500. So that makes his profit here $6,200, and his return on investment 413%. Not to mention the fact that Rolando is getting paid while swimming with sharks in Belize. He's working when he wants and where he wants. That's in his own words. You can't beat it. So how do we get to total freedom? Once we create enough of these land notes where our passive income exceeds our fixed expenses, now we're working because we want to, not because we have to. Now, there's gonna be a lot of details in between all that. And so I'd like to offer you a course to really walk you through the model, and I'm gonna simplify it. So if you go to thelandgeek.com forward slash wholetailing, there's a free course, How to Double Your Money, 30 Days or Less because I believe the best way to learn anything is by actually taking action and doing it. And then you'll know for certain if this model resonates with you or not. Hopefully you found this information valuable. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and again, go to landgeek.com forward slash wholetailing to get your free course and start investing in raw land, making on an average 300 to 1,000% return on investment. Thanks a lot. Hopefully I'll see you on the other side.